So I have a beautiful story to tell you. So you wake up into a very dirty kitchen with the pots and pans all left unwashed, smelly. In one bucket there is um, rotting vegetables. Um, but you want to do something, to, so you start cooking some bacon and eggs and warming up some beans from the other day. And there are flies on the wall and <laughs> dust on the wall and a lot of debris on the floor. So anywhere you go, you have to kick them to the side. <laughs> And um, you couldn't flush the toilet, and it's opening to the kitchen, so you are in there, right? <laughs> and uh, you started the cooking, and you started the thing. So what would... So how about we do it a little bit different? We use our instinct and change this process. What would you do then? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Start crying, right? <laughs> so, the story can be changed. You wake up, you open the window, open the door, chase out the flies, <laughs> the dust. Then you start cleaning everything, right? And somehow repair the toilet, you flush it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start cooking and right so what did I tell you what is the moral of this story the kitchen is your body it's your bodies people's bodies right and they never open the window never open the doors never they go and start treatments and what kind of treatments they do usually passive we are doing active treatment so try to find similar analogies to wake up people to reality that a real beautiful active treatment has to start with the windows open the doors open lots of ventilation so to start off gently the process so you don't disturb these flies all at once let them one by one go out the window and then one part at a time you're washing it let it rinse, let it go.